Hello, everybody, and welcome to my first uh, kind of create overview video. And today, instead of starting from the beginning of the mod, I'm instead going to be starting in kind of like the middle-ish. I'm a weird guy, so I'm honestly surprised if you guys are surprised. So I figured that I would talk about today contraption anchors. So in the create mod, it is essentially based on creating rotational force. And I'm going to be using uh, these creative motors to create rotational force. But as you can see, it spins around this little shaft. And these shafts, um, as they spin, they can be used to do various outputs. In this case, uh, I have this drill, which when it spins, it drills. And I'm just going to show as an example here, when this drill is digging downwards, and we have the motor going into it. Oh, when it stops lagging, you can see that the drill broke the block. I'm going to just uh, place another block in there. And as you can see, the block is broken. And that's all well and good. Now, where contraptions get fit into this is that contraptions are the way that you create larger structures and you move them around. So just as an example, this gantry K, sorry, gantry shaft line here, as you can see, as you can see, when it starts moving, it will start spinning. And as you can see, all the drills underneath are also spinning. And I'm going to just bring that back here for later demonstration purposes. Now, the way that it works to create a contraption is that you create some super glue, or you can connect things together using uh, chassis and glue, sorry, and slime. But I'm going to be using super glue for this demonstration. And the way that this works is that you right click on things. And then you right click on another corner, as you can see the glue is being applied. And now all these blocks are going to stick together. And now um, this chest is actually going to be the top, top of this particular contraption. So I also need to connect this particular conglomerate over to here. And now when this contraption is activated, as you can see, it will start moving and then providing force into all of these drills. Now I'm going to be going over these contraptions in the order provided in the ponder index. So. You know, you guys may have a few supercuts where I double check the exact order here. So to start, we have the mechanical piston. Now, the way that this works is that you attach some piston extension poles into the end. And then the piston, as its name may imply, will move. As you can see, as the piston moves forward, it will power the things. And because all the stuff isn't dropping on the ground, that would be because I have these chests on top. It will continue pushing until it runs out of poles on the back. But as you can see... It mined until there were no more shafts in the back. Now you can bring it back by reversing the speed. So I'm just going to crank this up here. And as you can see, it will come all the way back. And once it stops, we can open up all these chests and collect our sandstone. Now you can use this naturally for any mechanical component. It's just that I'm using this for mechanical drills for demonstration purposes because it's kind of one of the easiest to show visually. Now the next anchor is the windmill bearing. Now the interesting thing about this is that for this one, I actually do not have a creative motor attached to it. The windmill is the power source and the mechanical contraption. Now the limitation for this is that you have to attach sails or some other fan-like block it says. And then once you right click, oh wait, yeah, yeah sorry, my bad. Uh, you need to have at least eight, and I have this here. So as you can see, we have only have seven sails, and now that we have an eighth, now we right click, and as you can see, it will now spin. And it will start going around in a circular motion. So this is actually something you could use to generate a circle in the game. If eventually this will this will take a while to you know dig out. So windmills are slower, however. They provide their own power, so I don't have to attach a motor to the bottom like this uh, mechanical bearing. Which actually, speaking of the mechanical bearing, that is the next thing on our list. The mechanical bearing is a bit like the windmill and that will spin around its attached contraption. However, the mechanical bearing spins based off of the speed and rotation of the power source underneath. So if I were to check out... Well, once it moves past a little bit, here we go. We can see that the creative motor is spinning at 16 rotations per minute, whereas obviously the windmill is spinning much slower. So it's honestly kind of the same thing as the windmill, except for this one, you need to attach a power source onto the back, whereas the windmill, you have to include some fan-like blocks in order to provide the power. Now, the next one is the clockwork bearing, which is very interesting because, as you can see, I have got two separate sets of superglue here. The first set is attached to this sandstone line, and the second is attached to this stone. 
That is because the Clockwork Fairy has a hour hand and a minute hand, and obviously the hour hand will be moving quite a bit slower than the minute and and right now the time is set to not be going so i'm gonna to have to set that to true so now i have changed the daylight cycle and as you can see the hand is now ticking tick 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 all the way around and it will continue moving until the circle is complete and as you can see this hour hand here is not moving at all but if i were to say change the time and now it is nighttime. As you can see, as I am doing this, the hour hand is moving around. So now this is the night position. This is the noon position. And it will continue to spin around with the hour hand being the first set of super glued things attached. Whereas the minute hand is the further one out. And this one, like the mechanical bearing, uh, is based on the speed of the thing that you put in. I honestly don't see why you'd use the clock work, work bearing instead of the mechanical bearing in most cases. Obviously, this does exist, so you can use it to, like, make a clock. However, I would not recommend using it for a drill, because, I mean, there's all this space underneath that we can't use because we have to have an hour hand. Although, that could be fixed by somebody a bit more creative than me. This is just for demonstration. And next, we are on to the rope pulley. So this thing is quite interesting. So the rope pulley, it will move an entire super glued thing underneath the pulley itself and it will move it downwards so as you can see this is all being lowered and the stuff is going down and down and down and it will continue moving down until uh the direction changes or uh it reaches bedrock so i'm going to crank up the speed to speed up the rate at which it will make it to bedrock and as you can see it's now going quite quick okay so now we have hit bedrock and well not bedrock in this case it's just stone rock out and then we have some bedrock underneath and now that it has stopped, you guys can see it is now like turned back into a block form. And now I'm going to reverse the direction. And as you guys will see, the direction that the thing is moving will also be reversed and it will come all the way back up to the top. Now you can also break the rope when it is in a block form. So I'm going to lower it just a little bit and then I'm going to stop it. And as you can see, I can now break the rope. Now this will make it so that we need to re-lower down the pulley line and it, we can actually use that to pick it all back up. This is for more vertical systems that you can just lower and raise back up. And as you can see, it's excellent for a bore miner. And we are now all, all the way onto our gantry cage. So this gantry shaft line, it kind of determines the limit of where it goes. So it's a bit like the pulleys, except it is only it is in the direction that you set it in, and it will go as far as you set it. So as you guys can see, I have this testing thing going all the way out to here, and I can even make it go even further if I can place stuff down before it gets back over here. Now I'm going to reverse the direction of the shaft, and now it will be spinning the opposite way and then the contraption will be brought all the way over here. So this is good for doing stuff that is flat, more particularly. However, there also is another fun feature. So as you can see, as you saw, all of these drills are spinning. However, this has an additional feature that if we flip a lever activating the redstone line, the gantry itself has a line poking out of the side and that can spin. And it could also spin other gantry shafts. So this means that we could have a gantry shaft on a gantry shaft. And then we could just, uh, you know, reverse the direction here and let it go on its way. And then we just have that secondary gantry line attached to the gantry line, which is very ridiculous. And obviously this is held together with super glue. Uh, attached to the gantry carriage. So this means that gantry carriages are the ones out of all of these that can actually move in multiple dimensions. Uh, that being up, down, left, right. This can... Honestly, I'm surprised that I do not see more things working with gantry shafts online. And now we are on to the more ridiculous stuff. Now, if you guys thought any of this was crazy, we are now on to minecarts. Now, the cart assembler you, what you do is that you take a minecart 
well, in this case, I have a minecart with a furnace, and then you attach stuff on top of the minecart assembler. Now, in this case, I have it set up to be an automatically continuous system. So here I have a deployer with a bunch of rails, and here I have a deployer with a bunch of coal. And now it will take coal from here, because this is attached to the system, and it will feed it into the minecart as it runs. And the speed for this is provided by the speed of the minecart. So if I right click here, as you can see, all of this is now a structure. It's no longer a block form. And we have our plow here, which what it does. Oh, nope. Nope. <coughs> that was fun. So we now have this plow. And what the plow does is that it will pick up the rails. And what this deployer do is it will put down new ones. And what this uh, thing here will do is that it will make it so that it will be continuously running and this will go on forever, unless I stop it. And what this means is that because it is moving and it is powering everything attached to the system, I could say, attach one of these mechanical drills onto the side. And then that entire line would have been mined with this contraption. Additionally, if you use a wrench, you can actually shift right click to pick this entire thing up. And now I have an entire minecart contraption in my inventory. Now you can disassemble these minecart contraptions. The way that it works is that you run it into one of these cart assemblers with the power off. So we now have this contraption. I'm going to push it forward a little bit. And as you can see, the minecart continues on, but the, uh, contraption stays behind and just to prove that i wasn't lying i'm going to attach this here run another minecart through with the power on and boom we are now breaking blocks as we go and while that finishes up we now have the rail lines now this is going to be probably the weirdest of them all so at a train station what you can do is that you can write the way that these things work is that the way that you place them down is that you right click on the track and then you, you know, put it down. And if you're on a straightaway like we are here, well, you see, we can click the assemble train button. And now we can take these casings. Oh, wait, disassemble the train. Now we are in train assembly mode. And we take these train casings and we can set them down. And these are now all connecting to form one train. And then when we're done, we click assemble train. Oh, there's no structure attached to these bogies. It's saying that it's, uh, my laziness is not allowing me to work. I've already got one bogey attached. If you guys want to get all fancy, you can, like, decorate an entire train. I'm not that kind of guy. So either way, we have this bogey down here that I have placed some stuff around. And you need to have a train controls. Now, in this case, I'm just going to be standing. Right and I've got a bunch of coal in this. And this coal will be powering the train to make it go a little bit faster. And now I'm going to be doing another little fun thing here is that I'm going to be attaching a mechanical drill to the side here with a little bit of sticky glue. Sorry, super glue. And I'm going to just attach it up here. And as you can see, that is now attached to the train structure. And when I say that I am done and have fully assembled the train, now this is a contraption. I cannot break the blocks. Oh, tracks are missing beneath the train. Oh my gosh. The drill dug the trains. That was a unexpected turn of events. Oh, wait a minute. It's working like normal. That's so weird. So as you can see, this will move forward and it will power the associated contraptions attached to it. So in this case, it is powering that mechanical drill as it is going around here. And it's consuming some coal to move around and stuff, so I'm going to just back up to the station. Uh, ba -ba -da. Boom. And now I am at the station, and you can disassemble these trains if you want to, uh, you know, get your stuff back. But for some reason... Aha! You see, you have to hold down the space bar. And then it will uh, arrive at the track station. And then you can disassemble the train to modify it once more. I personally do not understand trains very much. But I do know that you can attach stuff to them. And it will work as a contraption anchor. Just uh, know that my trains are not...
in the slightest. These are all the contraption anchors. I mean, obviously, you guys, if you guys can't tell, I am very partial to gantries. I just love these things, and I feel like they're underrated. I'll say it, but yeah, this is kind of it. Just these different contraption things, you, you use them to spin stuff around, and they do stuff. And they, uh, and, and they can do things. I mean, I, I, I guess if you guys appreciate the video, you, you could like and subscribe and stuff. That'd be nice. Thank you and have a good day.